up everybody? So we're back on the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday and in this episode we're gonna take our 5160 buoy that we got done doing the guard on last week and we're gonna attach the scales on it that we made up last week. So the goal for this particular episode is to get these cut down, get the holes drilled in them, get all that stuff set up so we can go ahead and attach them onto this knife so that in the next Shop Talk Tuesday episode we can go ahead and shape the handle, put an edge on it, and call this done. So all you have is this one and next week's and we'll be able to see a complete knife. So let's go ahead, jump into this episode, get this stuff done, let's get it. So one of the things that I did to make my life a little bit easier is I made a template of the tang and the whole reason behind this was to make sure that I actually got the proportions right on the scales. So I went ahead and marked you see right there, mark that on here so that I knew that the scales were going to fit the tang for where the top of the antler is and the bottom and all that for both sides. So now what I need to do is go ahead, cut them apart, cut the excess off. Now we're going to leave them a little bit large, so a little bit bigger than the actual tang itself because we'll end up shaping it back to that. The area that we're going to focus on the most is this front piece where it meets the guard because that we got to make sure is perfect so that we don't have any weird gaps up here. So that's what we're going to work on now. Go to the porter band saw, cut everything down, and then start working on that front. So through the magic of forgetting to press record, they are now cut out. Now what we got to do, go ahead, square the scales together since I have them lined up where they need to be. We need to go ahead, square this front off right here and make it match this line, this right here, so that we can then start focusing on drilling some holes. So what I'm trying to do right now is just make sure that the front matches up how it needs to match up and that the tang is going to be right into the antler material. I think we're going to be perfect right there. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is drill a hole through here and start this process off. So now we're spreading our epoxy on everything and we're not trying to go too crazy with the epoxy. We're not trying to just put a ton on here. We just want to go through and coat everything because if you go through and put a bunch of needless epoxy everywhere, it's going to just squeeze out and not be useful at all. And because we're coating all the surfaces, I mean, you're going to have squeeze out by default. But you don't want to go too crazy with it and make the cleanup just a nightmare. And I have went through, 
cleaned all the surfaces with acetone just to make sure we were nice and good no oils on here from our hands residue from heat treating and whatnot So you might be asking yourself, Eric, why did you uh, why did you use that pinhole right there if it doesn't go all the way through? You put epoxy in there, epoxy in the center here, and all of it squeezes into that pinhole and creates a hidden pin. There you go. We'll go ahead and talk about this a little bit in the outro. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap this Shop Talk Tuesday up here. Now, I know that in the handle attaching videos there's not a whole bunch of excitement that goes on with that because really we're just gluing the scales on, but there's good knowledge to learn from things like this and I don't want to put all of this material or all of this video into the video leading up to this or the video after this where we shape the handle put the edge on it and all that because this needs to be its own standalone video so that you can get the information like doing a hidden pin so that you don't have to drill through your antler material now big point behind that is I could have just not did a pin but then there would be nothing connecting this piece of antler to this piece of antler over here I didn't want that so we did the hidden pin for two reasons. One, so that there is that bond in between there going from one side of the tang all the way through to the other side. Plus, we don't do a brass pin in the antler. Trying to shape a pin or smooth a pin or sand a pin or finish a pin that is in the middle of all that texture means you have to remove a lot of the texture or you have to get in there with a little bitty grinding tool and work your way in and spend an hour and a half just making one pin look good. I didn't want to do that. I wanted this antler to be unobstructed. I wanted it to be just perfectly shaped and then have that mechanical bond holding them together that's hidden. So that's why I did that and went that route. Now, like I said, that those little bits of information like that we went through in this video, if I was to take this video and the amount of time that it took and then added it on to like the handle shaping video that video would probably be 35 minutes long and it would be information overload and I don't want to do that I break these apart for a reason hopefully y'all like that if y'all do let me know in the comment section down below guys that is pretty much the end of this one I, I think that it is gonna look absolutely beautiful look at that oh my goodness I know you can't see much through there but hopefully y'all are excited about this <sighs> Man, guys, that's the end of this one. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. And I will see y'all tomorrow.